I am Saul Montiel, I'm a professional chef, and today I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to make the best queso fundido. This is queso fundido 101. What's the difference between queso and a queso fundido? A queso, it's just a melting cheese, kind of like a saucy, and then when it becomes a queso fundido with the real Mexican ingredients, with the chorizo, with the mushrooms, with the poblano peppers, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about, like queso, queso fundido. Now it's time to make queso fundido the best way, my way. One of the most important ingredients in a queso fundido is the type of cheeses that you use. Typically, I would use Oaxaca and uh, queso quesadilla, but in this case, I'm gonna use mozzarella and Monterrey Jack cheese because they're more accessible and also they're really good. This kind of mozzarella, dry mozzarella, it doesn't have that much water in it. If you use fresh mozzarella, it has a lot of water. So when you melt your cheeses, it will be very watery and you probably boil the cheese and you probably break the cheese. Now, the reason why I'm adding Monterrey Jack is because I want to add some sharpness to it. Now, these are the two cheeses that I'm using. That doesn't mean that you should do that, but just make sure that whatever cheese you use, it melts easily. Now, look at this. It's not as dry as the, the store-bought already shredded. You can feel it, it's, it's tender, it's like soft, and it's gonna take two seconds, not two seconds, six minutes to melt. What I normally do, I add some cornstarch. It's going to prevent from being too oily and also it's gonna make it a little bit more elastic. So it will be easier to put it on your tortilla and it won't be very watery. Okay, now we're gonna cook some of the meats and the vegetables. We have this chorizo from Toluca in Mexico. So we're gonna remove the case out of this chorizo and then we're gonna crumble it with our hands. The most typical queso fundido will be with chorizo. But again, you can just have vegetables if you don't eat meat. Now, we're not gonna put any oil into here because chorizo has a lot of fat, the best fat. It's like Mexican bacon. Who doesn't love the smell of bacon, right? When you walk in the street and you're there, somebody's making bacon. In Mexico, it's like somebody's making chorizo. Basically, it's ground pork with a lot of spaces that makes it taste like chorizo, delicious. We want to have a crispy chorizo. So we're gonna move it, but not too much. It's just like bacon. When the bacon is crispy, it tastes delicious. When it's not cooked properly, it's chewy. Same thing with this. And the smell, oh my gosh. Do we have a smell of vision? No, it's not smell of vision. As soon as most of the chorizo has like a nice sear, the chorizo flavor is stronger. All the flavors are waking up, telling me, smell me, and eat me. Our chorizo looks the way it should be. Crispy, crunchy. So I'm gonna start with the poblano peppers. It takes a little longer to cook than the mushrooms. You always cook what takes longer to cook. In this case, Chorizo takes longer to cook, so we start first. What's the second? Poblano peppers. I choose poblano peppers because it doesn't have the pepper flavor as a normal pepper. This has a kick, a little more milder than a jalapeno. We don't want the poblano peppers to be very soft. It's just a no-no. So you need to keep it al dente. So we start with high heat to sear the uh, chorizo. Now you go medium heat. Remember, you control the heat. The heat does not control you. Now I'm gonna do the mushrooms. I'm using regular butter mushroom, but you can use shiitake, oyster, cremini. Another reason why I'm not seasoning anything, it's very simple. The chorizo, it's salty. There's a lot of seasoning on the chorizo, a lot of spices. Chorizo is full of flavors and the cheese is delicious. When you combine those together, you have the best queso fundido. Now mushrooms can be very watery, like my eyes when I see a sad movie. We don't want to overcook the mushrooms because the mushrooms shrink. So now we're going to do the garlic. Since it's a very small dice, it will cook really fast. Now, if you notice, all the fat is gone. Why? Because all the poblano peppers and mushrooms absorb all the fat. So we're going to put a little bit of butter. The butter makes everything taste delicious. And also, it will help the cheese to stick together. But wait, there is more. Elote, sweet corn. This is already cooked when you eat the queso fundido bite. I want that corn to explode on your mouth and you have that sweetness from corn. Be like, whoa, where is this came from? So you have the crispiness from the chorizo and then the explosion of the corn on your mouth and, and the saltiness and the spiciness from the peppers and the mushrooms. It's just la creme de la creme. So now I'm gonna remove half of this. Half is gonna be mixed with the cheeses and then the other half is gonna be on top. Now we lower the heat because I don't want to overcook the cheese. If you overcook the cheese, it won't be elastic and flexible like me. <laughs> I'm gonna add the cheese all at once, because I want this to melt at the same time. 
What's better than cheese? More cheese. It's very important to keep stirring because we want to make sure all the cheese gets melt at the same time. Look at this. It looks great already. Now, this is a queso fundido, right? If it's not elastic, it's not a queso fundido. I'm just gonna finish putting the rest of the ingredients on top so it looks nice. And there you have it, my queso fundido. Look how beautiful it looks. I can see the chorizo, very important that you get to see what you're eating. Also, the sweet of the corn, it adds color and also it adds a bite when you eat it. Explosion of sweetness on, on your mouth and the garlic. Garlic and cheese is just a dream come true when it comes to queso fundido. I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> Look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. We're gonna sprinkle some queso fresco. It adds just a little bit of saltiness and also color. Look at this beauty. You don't have to add queso fresco, you don't have it. I'm a professional, so I have it. And we're gonna add some cilantro. You can do chives if you want, scallions if you want. It adds some fresh element to this. Let's taste this queso fundido before it gets frío. You know, different places, different people eat it with flour tortillas or tortilla chips. At the end of the day, I have both. How lucky I am. <laughs> you have to make sure that the tortilla, it holds the cheese properly. Then you wrap it like a gift. Aha, uh -huh, you guys didn't know this, huh? Look at this. You know, I've been eating healthy lately, so I'm cheating right now. The explosion of corn or sweetness on your mouth, the saltiness, spiciness from the chorizo and the bologna, just so good. So good and so simple. My other favorite way to eat this with a flour tortilla. Look at this. I just need a salsa right here, make it like a flauta. I can't believe I get to pay to do this. Mm. I prefer the flour tortilla. It's sweet, it kind of makes it even better. Flour tortilla wins. It's so simple to do and so delicious that you can please anybody that comes to your house. Just melt some cheese, be happy, and enjoy your company and have fun and enjoy life. <laughs>